Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland, and I'm looking at the Axiom 25 from M Audio. The reason we are looking at the Axiom 25 is last week a friend approached me and said she was having trouble getting the Axiom to sync up within Ableton. Nothing was auto mapping correctly. You'll notice my knobs are not defaulting to any control, although you will see a little bit of MIDI activity here when I move them. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how to uh, rescue your M Audio Axiom 25 in an emergency situation and how to set up if uh, you can't get the auto mapping to work. So let's go up to our options menu, go to edit MIDI map, and first we're going to set our transport controls. So I'm going to select play, hit play here, stop button, hit stop, and hit record here. You'll notice over here the corresponding CC control pops up where I have assigned the MIDI controller. Then I'm going to assign my loop, which will have your loop over here. Here we have loop on off. And I'm going to grab my knobs and for my boombastic bass, I'm going to assign a control for drive, cut off, and residence. I don't really want to assign any of these other ones. Uh, maybe tail. But let's put the tail over here at the end of my controls. So let's move on to the pad controls. You'll see my drum rack right here. And you'll notice that these keys default to C1, D1. Then it jumps to uh, A sharp one, F sharp one, D2, A1, and so forth. So you want to assign your bass drum sounds to where these pads are actually placed at. So if I go and get like a hi-hat, oh, that's not where they are, see? But that's right, so I can drag this over to here, and now, now that all syncs up. So I have, now I can record a quick drum line. And if that's a little bit off, because I have a feeling it really was, see it starts at two and it's a little bit over there. I can move everything back simply by quantizing all of this. If I go to quantize, I'm going to quantize it within the nearest 16th note. Now it should be right. So the next really cool thing that we can do with this is actually go through our uh, plugins that come with Ableton now that we have the control surface set up. And we can play around with how to use these to get a variety of effects. We have the beat repeater, for example. Let's see what happens if I put that on the bass. have it control these different parameters. Now that I've shown you how to set this up when you're in an emergency situation and the auto mapping isn't working, let's take a look at some quick things we can do using the built-in effects in Ableton.